but frame drops are also a thing. So, there's scrub coming from. Here he is. Give me the paraglider now. Paraglider, please. I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. The appearance of those towers in the awakening of the shrine. What, what are you going to say? It is all connected to that Sheikah sl Man, if you don't stop blabbering and let me get the motherfucking paraglider, this, we don't have an issue. Alright, long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah. Okay, man. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like this has survived all this time hidden away in the shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. There's a hundred shrines in this game. I'm letting you know this right now. I'm probably not going to end up doing all hundred. Or I could end up doing all hundred. I don't know. On this plateau alone, I believe there are three more. So I need more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Whether it is one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? While I'm feeling generous, I'll also show you a trick for finding shrines. Uh, it's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of the tower? Again. Oh, ho, ho, I'm afraid not. You do have another little trick to share for your effort. Alright, so this is where you can fast travel to all of these shrines that you've completed. And towers and stuff like that. Which is pretty dope. Uh, very useful, actually, for traversing the land. Or so I heard. Thanks, uh, Grandpa. But now, with Magnesis, you could pick stuff up. And if you drop it, bam! They're baked apples. And that's it's weird how there are just baked apples in there. Why, why are they already baked? I don't know. Who would bake an apple right off the bat? I don't really think... Would I eat a baked apple? I don't know. Oh, fuck me. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. I was supposed to, like, it was supposed to break it, but it didn't break it. So now I'm stuck using Magnesis on all of these things. Alright, let's do that. And... I guess this... We can make a seesaw with this. That'll be fun. Uh, is there anything else? It looks like there. Ooh, wait, hold on. There's stuff over here. What are these? Hylian Hyrule herbs, herbs. Okay, before eating, uh, to increase. I remember I was seeing the cooking stuff. I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to cook this? I don't know. I I'm standing in front of the fires, standing in front of the cooking pots, and I don't. I don't know how to fucking do this. I can't. I can't do it. What in the fuck is that thing? Oh, shit. They're motion controls. Wait. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, don't use amiibo. Off. Camera sensitivity fast. Very fast. Change jump button. HUD mode normal. Alright. We should be fine now because motion controls are absolutely trash. And it will forever be trash. Like, I've, I've never... I haven't seen a game with good motion controls in God knows how long. And it's kind of disappointing, because motion controls are actually relatively fun. You know what I'm saying? We're going to build the seesaw in a bit. Alright, let's open this. Ah, he stubbed his toe. Got some amber. Maybe you shouldn't go around kicking every single chest you see, Link. And we got an opal. Alright. We're an opal. All right, let us. You're wondering what I was talking about the seesaw before. Uh, do that. Do that. I kind of want to get on it, but I don't want to die because I I think I've died from this like once. All right, so let's put. I I'm really tempted to try it. But it would be like that, and then I would go flying, but I would probably die. Alright, so we gotta, gotta go find some more shrines. It's almost nighttime. There's a tower over there. I see, but for now, we're going to fast travel back to this. I know I said I wasn't going to... I wasn't sure about how I was going to do the fast traveling rule, but... I, I'm, I'm going to figure it out or something. Got some tips on the screen and greedy. I don't even think the game teaches you how to fucking cook. They don't say you got to do this. Like, it's just, I guess, like, it's sort of implied. 
people guessed and they found out. Like I said, the game doesn't hold your hand. They just say, do this, this, and this, and you'll be cool. But I don't. No, I remember. All right. Yes, I know about the scope. You press in. Got it. All right. So... There is a shrine here. Uh, there's also a shrine up there. He said there's four. Well, three now. Uh, there's not one behind us because we're on the edge. There's that one. And the last one is... Over there. That is really far. Jesus. And people at college like to slam doors and stuff. So, that's always fun. I'm, I, if you don't know, I'm recording this at school. Uh, my roommates moved out. I, oh, I can do the Mario videos now. I just realized that. But I guess I can also bullshit in this sort of... Uh, he moved out. Uh, I was... I didn't really care. I didn't like him. Uh, he wasn't a cool dude. Uh, he was like a super... A super druggie. And uh, it was just annoying living with him. So I was like, fuck it, I don't care what you do. And then he was like, yeah, I'm gonna move out. I was like, alright, sweet, I'll see you later. I, I started I started moving around, like, the stuff in the room immediately, and he was like, oh, wow, it didn't take you long. I was like, yeah, it, it, it didn't take me long to start moving stuff around, because this is my room now, and I don't have a roommate, so I could really fucking not care at all what you have to say. It was, uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't bittersweet. I don't really give a fuck. He actually ended up moving, like to the other wing, sort of, and I don't understand why, like, I was honestly just hoping he would, like, drop out, but guess not, oh, got some keys, can I, I managed to hit, I don't really see myself taking damage from normal keys, I see myself taking more damage from, like, fire keys, and, you know, the other variations of keys, as opposed to the normal keys. That's just me, though. Hello. That's a guardian. And those other guys are like mini guardians. And a normal guardian will fuck your shit up. And, oh no, no, I'm not playing this shit without sound. I can hit him in the eye all I want. Oh god. And there's Boko Blends, or, or the skull forms of them. Better bring out that motherfucking shield, boy. Alright. This is the part where we charge him. Fuck your head. A Boko Blin arm. Alright, so just break the head and you should be fine. Kind of like a, uh, a zombie. I wanna... I, mm, do I have stuff to throw at them? I, I, wanna, I wanna throw a bunch of like... Okay, let's throw the, some of the clubs at him. I didn't do any damage, just like I had thought. Actually, you know what? What would be the smartest thing to do? Let's, uh... Not fight. Yep. It would be the smart thing to do. I don't have a weapon. Fuck me. God damn it. Alright, come on. Swing. Oh, he has a, he has a sword as well. There we go. I didn't want the arm, I wanted the, uh, the Traveler Sword. Get that, get that shit out of here. No, get, get that shit out of here. There we go. Now we got the sword, baby. Alright, so we got another shrine, another day, another shrine. I don't know how long these videos are gonna be. Probably gonna make them around 30 minutes or so. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be cuts. There's probably gonna end up being, like, some minor editing. Uh, like if I say editor, like zoom in on zoom in on stuff, I'll, I'll probably I'll try and incorporate some of that. But until then, I don't really know. I haven't, like I said, I still have I actually still have a session of near to uh, go through. She said authenticate authenticated distilling rune, and we get ourselves another uh, power up. And this is the bomb trial, so we're going to get bombs to blow stuff up. Which is great because we don't have to carry bomb bag and we don't have to buy bombs. So now we got remote bombs. Bomb that can be detonated remotely. 
The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube bombs, so use whichever best fits the situation. And they don't do a whole lot of damage like you thought they will. Like, they're, they're, they're minuscule in damage. I think they do, like, one damage to certain things. So, like, here, if you drop it, it'll still roll. But, like, not as fast as a normal bomb. Or a, a round bomb. And hopefully you don't get caught in the, uh, the explosion radius, so you can alternate as well between bombs, which is pretty swell. Let's actually run away. So they both have, like, separate cooldowns, which is pretty fucking dope. And in this chest, we have a Claymore. I love two-handed weapons. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's what I ended up using the most of in this, like, game towards the end. That's just me, though. I don't, I don't know. Everybody has, like, a specific preference. Because I feel like some of the better weapons were two-handed weapons in this, like, game. Which is, which is not bad. Alright, so for this, we're gonna... Place. Uh... That, that got it. I didn't want to get caught in the explosion, that was why, like, I jumped. It didn't destroy all of it, though. What in the fuck? What is this? Oh yeah, we could switch our power-ups or whatever it is, whenever we need. Which is pretty swell. I like how you could just do it on the fly. So we'll drop that into there. That goes up there. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I didn't know that was how you're supposed to do it. That's not how I did it, at least, the first time around. Uh, where... I kind of want to get that chest over there. So we'll just... Put that there, roll that up, and then we've got ourselves a ball puzzle. So there's a bunch of chests in like these shrines, but they're like, they're optional. But they're not like, oh wait, oh fuck. What's the, the ball, they're just throwing a ball around. Like there's no real rhyme or reason behind it. They're just throwing the ball, passing the ball back and forth. I guess that sort of just like gives you an inclination that there are gonna be puzzles like that. I know there is a puzzle. In which you have to, like, I guess, time the ball passes and stuff like that. Which is actually pretty interesting, how they, they have it all set up in this game. That's just me, though. I, I really love the puzzles in this game. Like, the way that they, they, they're structured, it's probably, like, some of my favorite puzzles in Zelda games. And, like, I see, like, Zelda veterans, like, struggling with, the, with these puzzles, and I'm just like, these puzzles are so great. I don't understand, like, they're not hard. Like, there are a few of them that are a bit challenging, I guess, but they're not, like super duper hard like they're just really they they make you think outside of the box which is something i already do I, I i said that already but i feel like i gotta emphasize it you know just to let people know how good i am at the fucking puzzles in this game but the gameplay though i'm fucking trash i'll, I'll probably end up dying by like the end of this session or something i'm hoping i don't i, I really want to get like decently far i want to at least get a few of the good plop stuff out of the way. Alright, so I don't want to touch that. That guardian is going to touch me. Like, I will actually be, like, touched. He will, like, anally rape me if I come to- Oh, fuck me. That's another guardian. Nope, not today. Not today, Satan. Not fucking today. It is 12 in the morning. Alright. It is 1 in the morning. Alright. I'm not- I'm not dealing with this tomfoolery. Okay. Oh my god, he sees me. Fuck. How am I supposed to get out of here? Matter of fact. Actually? Yeah, baby. Yeah. See, it's stuff like this. Like, if I'm in a clutch situation where, like, I'm gonna die or whatever. Or, like, I'm really scared for my life. I just want to fast travel the fuck out of there. But, like, at the same time, I feel like that's cheating. You know? So I'm just gonna go back to that tower. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able... To navigate my way to one of the closer shrines uh, where I could, you know, just like continue on with my, my daily routine and not end up dying. That would be great. Because now I'm at the Shrine of Resurrection, which is the beginning of the fucking game. There's actually, there's actually something here for you if you come back. Uh, there's a Korok seed here. I don't know when you have to come back for it. I do know that there is one here. I remember getting it in my main playthrough. But, uh, 
It's a little fun fact for you, for you completionists out there. There are 900 of them. Have fun doing that. God help you. Because I do know that the reward is actually pretty trash. Alright, so there's one sort of behind the, uh, the shrine. A bunch of shrooms. Link to shrooms. That sounds like a good video title. And there we go. Oh, we're tired. We are tired as fuck. But I see it's so, so close yet so far. Sunset Firefly. These fireflies glow gently in the dark when cooked with monster parts. The compound uh, causes it to glow. The compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. Alright, sweet. We made ourselves some stealth elixirs and junk, which would be pretty, pretty decent, if I do say so myself. There are some uh, moments in which you're going to want to stealth. In this game, heard a warthog run by. I don't know where the fuck he is now. Oh, wait. These guys are all sleeping. These guys are all sleeping. They're all sleeping. Alright, let's see if we can, uh... Sneak up on these guys. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like, disturb them. I kinda just wanna take the meat and go. But at the same time... <laughs> 